Queen Wilhelmina Lodge was a great place to zero. Thanks to all the staff there. And thanks to Letitia, my shuttle driver yesterday as well. I'll tell you more of the story here in a little bit. It's a beautiful sunrise. And we're heading out eastbound. All right, where to start? So I'm gonna do my best to catch you up. So when I got in a couple days ago to Queen Wilhelmina Lodge, had a, I had blisters, of course, from the night before. One of them had grown pretty sizable. It's kind of like puffed out in a marble size on my big toe. And pretty, it felt pretty funky to walk on it. So I ended up making the decision to zero. And I've got another one on my left arch. But that's the painful one. That one popped itself in the Kayamichi River area and uh, stung quite a bit and still hurts today. But um, anyway, I ended up going and getting the right toe drained, something I've never done before. But uh, just seemed it was a risk reward deal, more likely to get infected, but also uh, completely relieved. That toe, it just hurts a little bit, and I have it all treated up with moleskin and a band aid and some antibiotic cream and all kinds of stuff. So, got two open areas, treating them both right now. Got some other hot spots with Luco tape on them, and my left big toe wants to have a blister, but got some moleskin on that today to hopefully avoid that. So, yeah, definitely my feet are a challenge. Trail's still rocky in sections, it's definitely better, but. It's still not, you know, cruisy trail like you might see in some spots, some areas. But that said, I had a really nice day yesterday. Uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier, shuttle driver Letitia was fantastic. Did a bunch of errands in town. Uh, <clears throat> had some chafing as well that I needed to deal with. So got some stuff for that. Got more moleskin. Basically just made adjustments to where I am currently on this through hike. And then, uh, so here I am. And I'm taking it just hour by hour. I'm checking my feet every few miles. So I don't want those to get out of hand. I think those are really the key to my finishing this through hike. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of road crossings today where I could bail out if I needed to. But uh, right now things are feeling pretty darn good. And it's a beautiful morning. It's cold, mid twenties. So. That is kind of what's going on. Um, the forecast for tomorrow is 100% chance of rain in the afternoon, up to an inch of rain. Uh, showers in the morning, showers at night, ending about one o'clock and then a cold front coming in and getting down into the upper 20s. Uh, so just gonna be mindful of that. But mainly my big concern right now is my feet and the rain tomorrow and what that might do to them and I'm contemplating all kinds of things including night hiking or hiking further today I got to jump on this day which is great so we'll just play it one step at a time I'll keep you posted thanks for coming along on another one of Charlie's hikes Well, I'm in the process of descending Rich Mountain. Went along the ridge for a little while, up and down, and then across the road, the main road that goes up there, Highway 1, and now I'm on some switchbacks descending. Trail conditions are pretty nice. It was rocky this morning coming out of the lodge. 
but I've eased up after a few miles, at least so far. And I just heard a train horn, so I'm coming down the train tracks somewhere down this valley. Pretty sure I'm crossing the highway down here too. I haven't looked at the map in a little while. I'm just kind of walking, enjoying some music. Uh, I've done almost five miles so far, and it's 9.40, so it's been a pretty productive morning that way. One more update. So, um, my wife's suggestion, having this, this arch blister is the most painful one by far. And uh, my shoe insert's been pushing on it. So I ripped my shoe insert out of my left shoe entirely. And so far, so good, it's helping. It's still sore, but it definitely eased the pain. So, got that in my pack now. I don't know if I'll uh, hang on to it or if I'll toss it and toss the right one too eventually. We shall see. Sounds like I'm just in time for the train down here and I'm not gonna run to try to beat it. But I will use it as an excuse to take a break. Well, the train took uh, about four minutes to pass, so no break for me. I'm gonna keep hauling on, you can hear it. Blowing its horn down at the next road crossing. Not heading up there today. Continuing to move forward. So I'm getting into some of the faster trail that I expected out here at some point. And I'm very thankful for my feet right now that this is a lot of pine needles, not a lot of rocks, little rocky sections here and there, but they seem to be thinning out and this seems to be becoming more the dominant type of terrain. So very encouraging. There are lows on a trail and there are highs on a trail. And you try to keep a pretty even keel, but one of the things I love about through hiking is this feeling getting stronger every day. Like you're out here and you're just kind of crushing it. And my feet are doing well today overall. Feeling pretty confident things will continue. And I'm certainly stronger than day one. Carrying four days of food, seven miles in, and ripping along at three miles an hour. Feeling really good. So. Hopefully we'll keep rolling with this. Uh, making good time. It's like I'll do 10 by noon, so it's always a nice benchmark to hit. And I've got to figure out my water situation now. Plan to keep going. I'll check my uh, feet at the last road major road crossing before I go up to Foreign Gap Shelter, which is where I think I'll spend the night. Tempting to keep going, but I think I'd be wiser to rest my feet up, let them air out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but yeah, it's a big dry stretch, like 27 miles or something between the last water on the descent here to the road and Foreign Gap. That's assuming there isn't water all over like there has been a lot on this trail since it's been so wet. And certainly after tomorrow's rains, it should get better, but I don't plan to count on that necessarily. So I'll probably pack four liters into foreign gap tonight and just have that margin that I can manage tomorrow because I'm planning not to go all the way to Big Brushy tomorrow but who knows Let's see how the day goes that's where the next water source is after the one coming up well it's not completely the end of the rocks but it's been less rocky overall so I just heard a uh, tornado siren a little bit ago 
took me a few minutes to realize it was the Wednesday noon test, which I think is pretty much whenever community tests whatever it is they need to test. So that was good. It's quite loud. Carried up the hills here well. And had me looking at the sky for just a brief minute and wondering why did the weather come so early. I realized as well, it kind of snapped me out of it, uh, that I've been up and down with my emotions today. Um, you know, sharing with you both the uh, exhilaration of through hiking as I enjoy it, and also the kind of worry and struggle and pain and what about my feet and all this kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, that just helped me kind of get recentered. So it was a good reminder to just relax, take it one step at a time, and it'll you'll figure it out. It'll figure itself out. Combination thereof. So that's what I'm back to. And uh, yeah, I did 10.3 almost 10.4 by noon so that was cool hadn't done that yet on this trip last time i looked i was averaging 2.3 when i've been moving so a little faster today Basically the top of the ridge, that was quite a climb. Definitely uh, took a little of the wind out of my sails today, but still moving along at 13 miles like so far. You see the trail through the boulders? I'm pretty sure a trail crew cleared this. It's really amazing if that's the case. It has to be there. There was not a path through here like the one I'm walking. Uh, thank you, trail crew. Having done some trail work, I can't imagine how difficult that would have been. So this is uh, fantastic going through here. And uh, I'm so sensitized to the boulders now. My ankles start aching before I, as soon as I see them. So uh, this is a nice little walk through here. And the descent continues. The trail descending down towards Foreign Gap Trailhead. So I made a decision. Uh, I decided my feet are getting the tar beat out of them. They're just not healing quick enough and they're not up for this kind of uh, rockiness. So I was hoping it would end. Did for a little while, but it came back. And uh, yeah, they're just not tough enough right now. Tomorrow is rain all day, heavy rain. I downloaded the forecast just to get a point forecast. 90% of uh, chance of rain, heavy rain at 8 o'clock in the morning so it's basically walking in heavy rain all day and that is not going to be good for my feet with some open wounds so i've had a bacterial foot infection before in the wilderness and it was one of the most painful walks out of the wilderness i've ever had so i don't intend to do that again so i'm contacting a shuttle and i'm gonna get a pickup head back to probably mina and then go from there and figure it out well the smoke from Controlled Burns has definitely found me. Here's the famous waterfall. Well, I had just enough cell service to confirm Letitia as my shuttle from Foreign Gap Trailhead. And uh, it's about the last five miles of trail that just did my feet in. A whole lot of rocks came back. Maybe felt like more even because of uh, my foot condition, so. They're pretty painful. It's getting a little better right now. It was so nice earlier, and that really had my mood up. And uh, anyway, I'm glad for a lot of reasons that I hit that rocky section because I probably would have hit one tomorrow or the next day. And uh, definitely, I have not opened my shoes. I don't want to know, but it definitely would have set me back. So the pain threshold's definitely there. And uh, you know, when it's no longer fun and it's just hurting. You either got to take some time away, this is my take on it, generally, or just give it up. So in this case, I'm just giving it up because I already took some time away. Maybe I could have taken a little more. I only have like one more spare day that I could have used. And uh, yeah, it's just not, I'm not feeling it at the moment. So that is that. But I hope you all enjoyed it. You know, I had a similar experience last year on the... Uh, 
with a shorter hike on the Tahoe Rim Trail. And I still enjoyed putting the video together. I still enjoyed the hike a lot. And uh, to me, it's a lot about the journey. It's not always about finishing. I always think that like 25% of the people who do start the Appalachian Trail finish it. So there are a lot of through hikes that go awry for all kinds of reasons. Um, so anyway, I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, see you again soon. This is a really beautiful spot. Seasonal water down by the Foreign Gap Trailhead. But boy, I can see on a hot day just sitting underneath that thing. And then you got some more up here. Great little spot. Coming up on my own eastern terminus here. My own little short through hike at this point. Came down here today, crossed over, went up, crossed over, and then just kept going. And it was this ridge up here that got really rocky and started beating me up, my feet especially. Uh, kept going, still rocky, and then got a little better at the bottom. And this is where it ends. Thank you all for joining me on another one of Charlie's Hikes. Hope you had a good time. I did. All right, one more update. I ripped the, uh, oh, did I just get in? <laughs> uh, that was a good one. That's a blooper for sure. So one more update. That was a tree branch, by the way, snap, snap, snagging the camera. Green. Well, it's